Greetings. It is I, the tiny protogen. Hi, we're going to be doing some Minecraft today, uh, and I'm going to be telling you a D&D &D story. So, this happened on Wednesday. Uh, I had come home from school, and we were starting our D&D &D session, and we hadn't played in two weeks. We were in a small corridor. DM said, okay, so uh, you guys get a movement round. You can't use any bonus actions or, uh, or dash. And basically... Me being a rogue, uh, I immediately said, uh, I'm going to sneak into a corner. Shit. Uh, and I'm going to, you know, uh, do rogue things. Uh. And, so, I, I, I get a, I get a decent roll, and by that I mean I got a 23. Uh. And I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, then, I just say, okay, uh, I, I, I cast Acid Splash, because I'm actually not only a rogue. Get this, I'm an arcane trickster, which means I'm a rogue that can do magic shit. So, I, I go, I cast Acid Splash, and, and essentially, I... I managed to greatly damage two of the goblins that we were fighting. Once I do this, right, I, I'm feeling good, and next turn comes around, or no, sorry, no, it was the same turn. Uh, I say, okay, I want to move, and to move, uh, I, what is this guy doing? To move, uh, I went into a. I went into what? Oh motherfucker. Uh I I get to doing the thing. And I move into the light. So DM says, okay, uh stealth roll, go. And I get to the stealth roll. I do the stealth roll. Get a 24. So, already it's a bit better. And, uh, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. And, I'm gonna have to fucking make this a two-parter. Uh, I, I feel great. Um, I'm vibing. And then time comes when, uh, the song comes on. And it's the Suction Cup Man song. So, basically, I, uh, the song comes on, and I'm like, okay, I'm climbing the wall, and, and, So, we're doing this shit, I climbed the wall, I got a 10, it wasn't that good of a roll, but, uh, it, it was good enough so that I could climb the wall, and I say, sneak. This guy is too annoying, fuck him. Uh, I get a 27. <laughs> so, keep in mind... I, I forgot to say that that's the beginning, but I had an initiative of six. And if you don't know D&D, &D, having an initiative anything under ten usually means you're going last. So, <clears throat> when I, when my turn comes, uh, I'm basically, I, we have this running gag that whoever's last in initiative just eats chips half the battle. So, I have, like, a bag of lays. Nope. Ah. So I, I have like a bag of lays li linked to my character, and now we and now I'm just eating that bag of lays as fucking stealthfully as fucking uh what's his name uh Korg I think it was from Guardians of the Galaxy. I will fix this in post. But like, I 
We just meme. I'm standing still. I'm standing so still that no one can see me when I'm eating chips. And I, we're, we're all like crying, basically laughing. And we're, we're doing this. And then I get to throw a knife. Because I, my character is, for some reason, collects a lot of knives. And I have 13 knives on my character, which means I have, I have 11 knives, to, I have 11 knives to throw. I just remember the, and, and then two knives, which is, it's literally just a dagger and then a rusty dagger to just, you know, be rogue. What? And I okay. I am um, this. Is it, I I <laughs> you just gotta you gotta you gotta understand this. We are all like laughing, and it is just the funniest shit. Cause the rogue is sitting there. Literally nobody can see him. Nobody can see my character. Not the goblins, and not the other people. And I'm just- I just throw a knife, and I get- I get a- I get like max- I get max sneak attack damage. I got like shit, uh, d uh, not sneak attack damage. I got like four, but sneak attack made me do 14 damage. And since I did 14 damage, the guy's head just fucking left his body. And now I have a goblin head. <laughs> so we're going back to the tavern because we had finished the fight. And like, we're here. We're, we're there. I... I have just a fucking goblin head on, just in my pocket, and we're, <laughs> we're vibing, like, we're straight up vibing, and, uh, I start ordering my thing, I, my, my, my rogue is a drunken rogue, so, yeah, I, um, I order some whiskey, oh, fucking hell, I can't clutch, Oh my god, what is this guy doing? No! Shit! Uh, yeah, uh, we, we're just here now. We're in this we're in this scenario where we're eating, right? And two hooded figures come in. And like these guys, they're not good. We know that from the start. My I I start freaking out because I immediately know they're of a religious descent. And if you don't know, my character actually used to be a warlock, but I switched over to Arcane Trickster because uh, I wanted because uh, it was a better way to play for me. And uh, DM said yes. And he's not that good when it comes to uh, you know uh, religion and stuff because of because uh, he got to keep his patron because there's gonna be a, like a story arc with it and all that other stuff. And these guys try to get our wizard to go over to them, but luckily, uh, she she manages. Uh, it's played by a guy, but it's a she, so I'm just gonna refer to it as she. Um, like it's. Bye. It's it. We're we're just there now. So they move on to me. Um, I try. I'm, I'm like in my head panicking because I know this is either gonna break out into a fight or we're going to get on the bad side of a really bad organization. Uh, more uh, than later. Uh, I get f my head gets forced to them and they s signal over. I turn to my drinking buddy, which he's Doug Dimdome, and like. We're just there now.
What is this guy doing? Bye. Uh, this guy is so annoying. Uh, we. Oh my god. Uh, so, yeah. These guys motion for me to come over. And I, I'm panicking. Ah, uh, my legs are like moving on their own. Like, basically the telltale signs of, you're going to get on the bad side of a criminal organization. All that other shit. Uh, so, like, we're there. And bad organization, bad people... Uh, these guys fucking kill babies or whatever. I'm scared for my life. I'm scared for the party's lives because I know that if these guys, if, if I do the wrong thing, I'm going to be on the bad side of this organization. And when it comes down to it. Nope, not dealing with that shit. Uh, when it comes down to it, just generally a bad scenario. So then we start talking, and I, I, and throughout the entire chat, I'm adamant, just like, get the fuck away from me, I don't like you, uh, you're bad people, because I know, I, I know who these guys are. They're part of an organization called the Red Veil. And if, and in our game campaign, the Red Veil is a very very, very bad. Uh, it's like a very, very bad people. Uh, these guys are like crime everywhere. Oh, shit. Nah. Uh, crime everywhere. Uh, these guys will kill you just to get like two gold. And I am just not having it. I'm going to continue this later.